Today is March 16th. It is my first time getting on the scale in months. I am not excited about this, but at the same time, I am ready for this. I need to do something about this body. Let's see what we're working with. Probably over 200 pounds at this point, but let's see. hundred and ninety two or ninety three pounds not as bad as I expected because that's pretty much what I weighed the last time I weighed myself <sighs> I am not proud of this you guys I don't know why it's been so hard for me to just get back into the swing of working out I'm not even sure that I ever wanted to get back into the swing of working out but certainly I recognize that I need to lose weight <laughs> I recognize that I need to lose weight I want to lose weight and so I need to actually have some type of plan um, to go with it and I need to stay consistent to it. These are my starting figures. I just updated this body sheet. So this is my goal. And then over here, this was my starting weight when I initially started my fitness journey last year in May. And these are my current stats. So this is March 16th of 2023. Yeah, yeah. it's not that exciting, but the good news is that at least I'm not that. <laughs> so I have these two charts here that I created so that I kind of watch my progress. But yeah, I'm going to hopefully be measuring myself probably at the beginning of the month, not the middle, although my journey begins now. My current situation as it stands is I um, don't really have much physical activity that I'm doing except for going to drop my son off at daycare which is usually like a 20 minute walk um, and I mean we live in a very hilly place so in some ways it is a bit of a workout. I am achieving my 10,000 steps every single day right now um, or at least most days so like maybe at least five six days a week. So from that perspective, I am getting some type of activity. Um, I also know that I hit my in the zone hours on my Fitbit app, which basically means I think the number of minutes or something that my heart rate is over whatever, 100. So I know that when I am at home, I am also relatively active compared to I think most people. Anyways. The challenge right now for me is I need to um, think about what I'm eating because I think therein lies the problem. Most of the time it's not like I'm eating bad meals themselves but then I think I snack badly in between my meals. So that's one thing. And then the next thing is I think that I do need to do some physical activity that's more than just walking. I've been having a lot of issues with my body since giving birth and so yeah let's just skip that part but the point is that I do know that uh, working out will improve my overall physical feeling which has been pretty not great um, in the last year and a half so what I'm gonna do about that is I just need to go back to the gym I think I I haven't actually even tried doing the home workouts, but I don't think that's what I need right now. I need intervention. I enjoyed going to the gym. I enjoyed the idea of having a fitness uh, personal trainer. It was working really well for me and she was amazing. Um, and so I want to get back to that. However, I don't think I'm gonna start right off the bat and do personal training. I'm just gonna do regular gym for now and then work my way to include uh, Aki who's the my personal trainer uh, back hopefully if she's still available if she still will have me but I think I really need to create a plan where I get to go back to the gym at least three times a week it could even be when I drop off my son I can just head to the gym at that point because I think that's the only real time I, I could do it um, and yeah but we, we need to do something about this, guys. So my goal this year is to get to 160 pounds. It's not that difficult if I actually stay consistent. But I need your help. 
I need you to be asking me if I went to the gym okay like I think I need a, like a weekly form of accountability um, and so the way I'm going to do that is by probably posting um, my workouts yeah we're gonna do that we're gonna post our workouts or at least something to do maybe I could do a weekly vlog that's just a fitness type of vlog because then I'll have the ex the sort of accountability that I need to post my fitness vlog this week or else I would not have worked out so that's what I'm thinking but yeah ultimately it all goes back to the gym I don't really think I have horrible eating practices um, in terms of the meals I think I need to just be more intentional with my meal planning and just stick to the meals that I prep and not eat anything more than that yeah that's what we need to do I'm not even sure what it is about losing weight that can be so difficult I mean it seems so simple but it's so hard I mean yeah but I have to do something about it if you have any ideas especially those of you who've had some postpartum things happen um i'd love to get some you know workout recommendations and stuff like that i want to really focus on my pelvic area and really strengthening my core because i feel like everything is centered around that part of it too is that i think that the way i carry my son doesn't necessarily help build my stamina if that makes sense like I know it sounds like oh yeah you walk around with this 30 pound baby on your hip so therefore you're stronger but I actually think my body has been has continued to get damaged by that habit for example because I think after I gave birth I didn't really spend time strengthening my core again and um and so it's like since I didn't spend that much time strengthening my body I think it it's bad that my son, for example, I carry my son all like quite a lot, I think a lot more than I probably should, um, which is something that I am going to need to wind down on or at least not do it as much, even though I enjoy it. But it's bad on my body, like my knee is bad, my I've got lower back pain now, and then my pelvic area is not that exciting either. So... I feel I feel it I feel it and I need to do something about it and I want to do something about it so that's why I'm making this video to hold myself accountable and to just <laughs> to just do it I just need to do it because yeah we're not getting any younger here our body doesn't just regenerate itself the way it used to so um, but yeah let me know what you guys think uh, if you have any tips for me I'm kind of excited about this as well like just the idea of getting back to meal prepping more consistently and um, and just the idea of going back to the gym my food habits I'm not gonna do crazy healthy meal preps or something like that in terms of like salads or something at least not often I think maybe once in a while I might do that because I don't want to change too many things at the same time it'll be hard enough that I'll be starting back at the gym so I want to kind of focus on that and then once I get into the rhythm of things with the gym then I can maybe um, you know think more about the types of food that I'm eating or things like that but for now the biggest plan is operation go back to the gym and then after that the or during that um, is just meal prep whatever it is just prep my meals and stick to my meal preps so with that said if you're on a similar journey let's do this i'll see you guys soon bye